Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Great Tarot. So how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you. So if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. If you have already supported me, thank you so very much for all the love and the support. Uh, in the description box, I have my Instagram page link. If you want to follow me there, go ahead and give it a follow. And the text that I'll be using will also be listed. So the topic for today is unexpected blessings coming your way. The blessings that you don't see coming. Okay, so as you can see, there are six images to choose from. Uh, take your time, pause the video if you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, and um, the timestamps will be in the description box and all these remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you so i'm gonna start with group number one hello namaste hello group number one this is the image you have been drawn to and uh, let's see unexpected blessings coming your way uh, let's see what it is uh, so we have the number 33 with the white cune okay so the number 33 uh, is all about celebration expansion growth right and i feel like this is also a number that talks about the connection with your ascendant master spirit guides angels so there is definitely growth that is coming your way that is one of the blessings here so here the message for you guys is have faith have utter faith in your goals in the desire what no matter what the circumstances are doesn't matter if you have faith this thing will work out and yes i feel like if you are someone who is in this energy where you're having that faith complete faith you will see this thing that you want manifest this growth uh, you will be celebrating something that you want to celebrate but maybe right now you're not seeing it right so have faith because this is this thing is coming into fruition that is what is your unexpected blessing so have faith here because of course i feel like you don't have that much hope so um, have hope have faith uh, in divine because it will come true for you okay so have faith here that's the message from this card okay so let's see the um, chance unexpected blessings here know what i was getting a person um, like when we uh, plant a uh, plant seeds uh, when we you know in agriculture i feel like there are sometimes rains rains are needed in order to uh, grow the crop right uh, you know the energy that was that i was picking was like there was this dry summer and there was no indication of rain happening right but the people in that village maybe had faith that rain will come and they prayed and rain came like that's the energy here when there is no um, that no indication of rain coming they have hoped and they have had faith that rain will come and rain came and so the crops were not destroyed and because of the rain the crops uh, grew, you know they grew beautifully and they could harvest it so something like that was coming up here so having faith at this time is very important so that's all one thing that you need to ha have is faith okay at this time that's very important i really feel with this teacup uh, you're not seeing this celebration this growth right now um, I really feel like that. So here um, with this teacup, I feel like you're going to have a very carefree time uh, where you will not be stressing about this thing because you will have already manifested it. So this is something that is very near to you. This is maybe this is something re related with your creativity or spirituality or with a person or a relationship, anything it can be. And you are not seeing it happening. And that's why it's unexpected, right? Uh, so it's going to happen but one thing you need to have I will, I will repeat that again is have faith in this thing okay that's that's the only thing you've got to have faith faith is important at this time pray and believe in your prayers many times we pray what but we don't believe in our prayers that's what the issue is right now so if you're praying for something and not believing it it will take more time so here when you pray believe it have faith look for uh, yeah, yeah. look for the signs like this is going to happen. Ask uh, universe the signs and expect the best here. That's one thing I'm getting here because with this bird, I really feel like universe will be 
uh, giving you a little bit of clues that will excite you. So have that excitement, you know, uh, get excited that this is going to happen and have faith. That's what the important thing is. Even if the outside doesn't look like it, you got to have that faith. That's what spirit guides are telling you at this time here. Yeah, with the cat here, um, you know, don't share this thing with anyone like you want it. Um, I'm, you know, even though it's not looking good, I have that expectation. I have that faith. Don't keep on sharing. Keep it to yourself. Let it be as this secret with the universe and you. Okay, don't, that's also very important here. Yeah, okay. Don't share about this to anyone. So let's see what else is the unexpected blessing for group number one. Yeah, we have transformation. So definitely something is going to transform. So something, it feels like the shell is closed. And you want the shell open. But there is no way the shell is going to open. So you're my, you know, this is like situation I feel like. Something you want and you're like, this is not going to change. But at the same time, you, ha you have been praying for the change. And if you have that utter faith, that transformation is going to happen. Where you're not seeing the change. You know, where you, in, in reality, you might not be seeing, but, but you want it, right? So have faith, pray, because the transformation that you want is happening. A beautiful transformation is on the way. So have faith. So definitely this is about your growth, about your expansion, some sort of expansion, some sort of growth. This is what it is talking about. So here you will be getting out of that shell and you will be flying. So uh, yeah, maybe you're waiting for that change. You're waiting for that transformation. So have faith at this time because this is possible. And we have the number eight as well. You might be seeing three, three, three is eight, eight, eight. This group, maybe that is the numbers your angels uh, use to connect with you. So whenever you see those signs, 333888, get excited. Like, yes, this is going to happen. Yes, this is going to happen. But at the same time, don't share share this uh, with anyone. Keep it a secret. Okay, when this happens, you can share it. Uh, so maybe this is about a job. Maybe it's, it's a, uh, maybe you're thinking like it will not happen. I don't have that much skills. But you want it. So, so right now, what you can take from this reading is to have faith. Having faith is the key here at this time. And whatever you can do, whatever you feel like, intuitively, if you feel like you need to take action on something, go ahead, go ahead and do it. But have faith here. Yeah, again, we have the sanctuary. So it's, it's important for you guys to uh, connect with your own heart, spend some alone time. And this should be a secret between you and divine. I, I feel like for some of you, this is already a secret between you and you and divine. You're praying for it. You're hoping for it. Uh, but you don't know whether this will happen or not. Then it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. That's also uh, so for some of you. That can be a confirmation. With this butterfly, you're getting out of that caterpillar stage where you have been waiting. Now you have the wings and you will be flying. So, yeah. So have faith here. And the blue color is very strong. Again, this feels like ascension. For some of your spiritual progress, uh, awakening... Awakening to, so awake, awakening something about yourself that you didn't know. Uh, that is also something I'm getting here. Yeah, sometimes we don't know certain things about ourselves, our own gifts, our own power. Maybe for some of you, you will be awakening to that as well. So let's see what else. Um, at this time, I would recommend you to focus more on prayer, more on faith, more on faith and whatever you, you can do. Just do it. So be in the present moment. That's very important. So let's see. Okay. You have the Sovillo. This is about success. This is about success. You will be very happy. So this is definitely about success, happiness, something that you have been praying for. It's going to manifest for you guys. It can be a dream job. It can be examination or something like that you want to pass. Uh, even though it was a tough examination, you have you you have you have faith that you will win. Yes, you will win. Uh, this is about your growth, your progress, your gifts. Uh, for some of you, you want to feel more joyful, right? You want to feel more peaceful. That is what is happening. More carefree. So maybe passing this thing, like something is troubling you at this time, and you getting this thing will take away all your troubles. And that's what is happening here. So, yeah, <clears throat> so a phase of your life where you were struggling 
in order to get something is over i feel like that now you don't have to struggle because it's there for you so at this time just have faith okay i feel like you have done a lot of work towards this thing the transformation that you want is happening so be uh, you know be strong and believe in yourself and in the higher power right now so let's see what else here for group number one unexpected blessings Oh, wow. Acknowledgement, seeing, knowing, acceptance. This is like you will be receiving signs before this thing happens. Universe will be showing you signs. Or maybe right now also universe is showing you signs. So be aware. Look around. Maybe one of the signs, one or two of the signs are 333-888. I feel like you will be seeing a lot of cats, birds as well. Hummingbird can be a sign. Butterfly can be a sign. So a lot of signs are there. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I really feel like that and if you look at this image and this image they are both focused they know what they want they're just focused on that this is what I want and I have utter faith that I will get it so be focused on what you want don't lose focus so again the the prayer technique I would say I will I'll repeat it I have said many times in my readings about this prayer technique if you listen to Joseph Murphy you know that so when we pray for certain things in our life if you're praying for health and maybe for example your relative is in hospital right when we're praying for that relative sometimes we pray uh, them seeing in the hospital bed that's not the correct way of praying if you want to see them in health see them in health see them uh, in their home Home, laughing eating food together you know having fun like walking that that's the way you need to see them while you're praying so if you can change that one thing right now if you're praying in a way where you're not seeing yourself having that change it change that prayer technique and see yourself winning or whatever this thing that you want see it see it like that and pray it and believe in it and as you, as you ask for signs, you will be getting those signs and accept those signs at this time. Because this thing that you really want is possible. Hmm? But maybe there is a little bit of doubt. That's what you need to let go of. Okay? So yeah, look, we have this bloom here, recognition. This is something with your growth, expansion. I feel like this is something related to your career success. It can be, or it can be with some sort of examination, or this can be even uh, with your personal growth, something like that. There is this transformation happening here. Um, if you want recognition, definitely, I feel like that acknowledgement, that re recognition is coming your way. Okay, so let's see what else here with the tarot and expect blessings for group number one i would say your energy is very gentle so as much as uh, you can be gentle with yourself it will be very good because things are right now um, mirroring right what you're thinking that's what is coming here so at this time uh, and i would recommend you to um, Stay away, with, uh, stay away from people if they are putting a lot of doubt in you. This is not the time to engage with that, engage on that kind of conversations where there is a lot of complaints, where there is a lot of uh, uh, like negativity, where people are telling like this is not possible, that is not possible. If you can stay away from those people, it will be very good. So that's why I feel like with this cat, uh, it's, it's like this thing that you want, keep it a secret with yourself don't share it with anyone and if there is someone who you can really really rely on trust on maybe share it with them but i feel like here the person is you only who you can trust at this time and divine so do that okay and interestingly we have this number eight and we have number 26 as well so that also reduces to number eight right so Eight is the number of abundance. It's the number of manifestation. So what you're thinking, what you are feeling, that is what you're getting. So if you're praying uh, in this wishful, wish fulfilled state, like you're wishing and you're like, yes, I have this, you will get it. Okay. So this wish, I feel like for many of you, maybe we are talking about blessings. You are already wishing this thing and you are already praying for it and you have faith. If that is the case, this is happening here. So before it happens, I feel like you will be seeing it. Maybe for some of you, before this thing comes true, you will be seeing it in a dream of yours. 
and that will be the confirmation that is going to happen happen so yeah this is about your transformation uh, yeah about winning as well something you're winning some sort of victory this is talking about and because of this victory you can come out of your shell and yet go to the next level here okay this is this this is something that you will be celebrating i feel like because it's an upgrade here uh, so let's see what else okay i didn't feel like that so let's see let's see um, i'll shuffle again okay 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 we have the knight of pentacles we have the eight of cups and we have the seven of cups here okay and we have the death energy as well okay and the back of the death so ending of this chapter uh i feel like ending of a frustrating period of of your life ending of a confusing period of your life i i really feel like that and you're moving forward planning and preparing what's best for you and you're seeing the results as well that's what i'm getting here look we have this eight of cups and we have the seven of cups so again um so something was bothering you some sort of emotions right uh, yeah again uh, as i mentioned faith is very important so you were not seeing the bigger picture you were not seeing this happening so what happens when we don't do that is we kind of get worried and we don't believe and i feel like you're moving away from those kind of emotions slowly but surely slowly but surely you know you're uh, trusting yourself you're trusting this thing and uh, as you're trusting as you're planning as you're preparing as you as you're doing the work you will be seeing the results here slowly uh, slowly but surely that's what i'm getting here uh, so again i feel like already many of you might have changed your energy right you have uh, let go of certain emotions that was not good for you again with the seven of cups and eight of cups some sort of emotions or even people who are creating a lot of confusion or anxiety in you you might have walked away from uh, you you might have walked away from these people and now you're feeling a little stable secure safe so this is a very good energy right now so keep pray, praying believing because what you are seeking it is seeking you back and you will be seeing i feel like uh, this manifestation of yours uh, this blessing is like it's as you change your energy you will be you will start seeing the signs or you will be start, you will start seeing small small progress and and slowly but surely it is going to progress here something like that here okay so yeah i feel like you have been working on certain emotion letting go of certain people letting go of certain habits it's working out in your favor yeah things are going to change for you yeah i feel like you might have even ended something some sort of uh, belief system yeah it's beliefs that was not working in your favor you might have even ended it you might even have got uh, got, out, got out of certain certain relationships certain friendships that was really confusing you and now you are starting slow but it's steady uh, you have planned something keep going keep moving i feel like your mental health is also going to be very stable with the faith you know having faith Uh, i i really feel, feel like when we have more faith in divine when we have faith in ourselves our mental health also kind of gets better and i really feel like you're working on your mental health it is also getting better you're you're focused on your goals your dreams desires and you have faith and yes you might be doing something secretly as well or you are not sharing it with other people because that's what you're getting out of it because sometimes when you share it with other people they create a lot of confusion or create a lot of negativity and you're out of that situation as well so now you are grounded you're feeling stable and and this is a very good energy to be in because this transformation that you want is happening very soon here yeah this blessing slowly but surely things will progress here yeah so let's see the final message here wow yes you moving ahead yes you're very sure of yourself where you want to go what you want yeah you're not confused anymore that's what the thing your energy has shifted again you are very sure and here she has a trustworthy friend here so yeah she and this friend is not creating any negativity actually this friend is motivating her or this friend can be her inner self right or her faith yes her faith she is trusting her faith 
she is believing in herself and she is moving forward slowly but surely and she is uh, she is seeing amazing transformation so definitely you have worked on certain emotions of yours well, you know you have gotten rid of certain negative habits as well certain negative feelings as well you have you have gone away from this like with this eight of cups you have let go of these things as you're letting go of you're feeling more stable more secure so if you have been praying for um like mental health improvement that's definitely happening here i see that your mental health is thriving more lighthearted lightheartedness is uh, more lighthearted energy i'm getting here feeling lighthearted feeling joyful feeling happy and i even feel like you will be kind of enjoying your own company as well you will not be longing for relationship you will be feeling good about yourself that is also something i'm seeing here feeling good in your body feeling good uh feeling yeah that's a one of a blessing like feeling good about yourself feeling good about who you are and feeling happy uh, even if you haven't accomplished that much feeling happy uh, feeling ha happy about how much you have accomplished right sometimes it's very difficult for many of us uh, to not feel that fulfillment uh, from one goal to another we just keep on jumping and that's why we never feel satisfied i feel like many of you are letting go of that as well feeling satisfied wherever you are and aiming for high high you know better things and that's okay aiming for better things is okay but not feeling fulfilled even if you reach a goal is something not that good i feel like you're letting go of that emotion as well and feeling satisfied and fulfilled wherever you are and and trying to better things slowly but surely and that's bringing a lot of success a lot of good changes and yes have that faith your faith is your partner i feel at this time the more you have faith in yourself the more you have uh, faith in divine the more blessings you are going to receive so that's all i have for group number one hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye so group number two this is the image that you have been drawn to with number 23 the mock turtle so let's see unexpected blessings coming your way uh you know the i was uh, i was feeling you know i was when i was shuffling these decks uh, this card for you the you know the the message that i got was like sometimes we have uh we you know we buy my mangoes and maybe they're not that ripe and so so people tell like 10 keep it for 10 days and it will be ripe right like that's that's what the energy is right so that's what i was feeling so you thought that it will take 10 days to ripe and only that you after that only you can have those mangoes but what happens is in two days the mangoes are ripe uh, so again this can uh, this can also be about the bud you know there is like a bud rose bud and you thought that it will only blossom after this much days but it blossoms fast so something that you thought will take longer is going to happen faster and yeah and so maybe right now you're in an energy of a little bit of sadness i feel for this group little bit of sadness little bit of uh, uh, not feeling that great feeling little bit um, you know tired <clears throat> that is all going to shift for you guys hope is going to come uh, the hope is going to blossom so something is blossoming again there was again this is the analogy that has been given to me the the things you know you wanted mangoes and you know eating mangoes makes you so happy but you have to wait and it made you feel so this is just an example guys feel this made you feel so sad like i cannot have my mangoes and in two days the mangoes are ripe so if you're feeling gloomy if you're feeling sad the unexpected blessing is there will be hope returning in your life you will not feel like this uh, things are going to get better for you guys okay so yeah that's what the first message is so let's see what else here what is the unexpected blessing for group number two oh wow so money path will be open to you guys maybe for some of you you are receiving some sort of money as well or 
मे बी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मेक मनी इज कमिंग हेयर इफ़ यू आर वरीड अबाउट योर मनी और बिकॉज ऑफ मनी देर इज़ लिटल बिट ऑफ सैडनेस मे बी यू आर सेविंग मनी एंड यू आर एबल टू बाई दो थिंग्स दैर यू वॉन्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द लैक ऑफ मनी देर इज़ अ वे शोइंग अप एंड और मे बी देर इज़ अ पाथ शोइंग अप बिकॉज वी हैव दिस कॉइन एंड दिस पाथ सो देर इज़ अ पाथ दे अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट विल बी गिवन टू यू गाइज सो यू कैन मेक मोर मनी सो मोर मनी या देर इज दिस दिस मैसेज कमिंग या देर इज़ अ मैसेज coming uh, or maybe for some of you a message like something will some sort of refund is coming that you didn't expect so you will get unexpected money as well that can be your blessing uh, yeah and for some of you there is an opportunity that is coming your way that and because of this opportunity you will be able to make more money uh, this will come through a email message or some person will call you and give you that opportunity and this will be a blessed opportunity here i feel like this with this hamsa and it will make your heart little bit happier yes happier so yeah maybe yeah maybe there is something that is making you gloomy maybe there is a lack of opportunity maybe you are feeling like there is no opportunity if for something and feeling little hopeless that's going to change there is a message coming and uh, in that message there is an opportunity coming your way that is safe and protected it will make your heart very happy and the gloominess is going to go away here okay so a money path is going to be opening for you guys that's for sure here a money path here so you can let go of something that is not working out in your favor and do something else that will really work you work out this money path is going to definitely work out so a new opportunity that will make your heart very happy is coming so this hope that you don't feel right now it's going to change and uh, yeah you're going to feel very very hopeful the hopeless energy is going to move away okay so let's see what is for group number 2 unexpected blessings coming your way things are changing we have number 23 uh, it uh, uh, it uh, reduces to number 5 and number 5 is all about changes right so yeah things are changing if you may be if you are feeling conflicted if you are feeling sad if you are feeling isolated if you are feeling lonely if you feel like there is lack of opportunity the opportunities are coming and uh, with this hamsa this opportunity is blessed it will make you happy it will it will make your heart also happy so there is a major announcement or a message coming communication is coming so let go of the stress with the sleep let go of the yeah worries and take this opportunity because this will make you happy <clears throat> enlightenment oh look we have the heart be open to receiving guys that's very important and i feel like with this gratitude where uh, this uh, this will make you very happy guys uh so there there is a major opportunity a big opportunity that is coming your way you have you might have been praying for something your prayers are going to be answered that is also one thing so right now i feel like a little bit of gloomy energy is there sad energy is there feeling disappointed kind of energy is there here uh, hopelessness is something i'm seeing at this current 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 situation of yours and that's going to shift every nothing is permanent in life right and that's what it is and you know what uh, as you are getting out of this hopelessness state to hopeful state state you will be um, you know it feels like you are going to um Uh, you will feel more closer to divine as well that is something i'm getting here with this enlightenment card and uh, this temple right you, you will be feeling more closer to spirit you will be feeling more closer to god as well so it feels like this an opportunity opportunity is knocking on your door out of nowhere as you have been praying so that's why i feel like the um, the relationship that you have with divine with the higher power is going to be more stronger that is also there and we have the heart chakra sometimes we are closed off sometimes whenever blessings come we don't receive because of her heart, heart chakra being closed i feel like finally you're really opening it and you're accepting those blessings as well the reason is your uh, your connection i really feel like your connection with the divine is becoming stronger you're believing in divine more you're believing in the higher power more i see that as well and we have the number 19 as well and number 19 for me is uh, in the tarot card if you look it's the number of uh, sun card right so yeah there is a lot of happiness from hopelessness to hopefulness you're going there okay that's the blessing uh so let's see it feels like for some of you this will feel like a magic like an opportunity coming out of nowhere uh yeah 
definitely a money path is opening up for you guys to make more money uh, there is an opportunity to make more money or an opportunity where you're getting more money uh, yeah something like that is there definitely someone will want your help and they will give you money because of oh yeah maybe you will be able to do some work for them so let's see or maybe for some of your person is going to be very generous and give you some money okay uh, or maybe some advice as well if it's not the case about money uh, yeah if, if, if you're not disappointed in money or in any, any other situation I feel like there is a message that is coming your way that will make your heart happy like they, it will inspire you it will motivate you something like that is there okay yeah we have the wolf energy here as well with this story zero uh, so uh, so I feel like that there might be person who is showing you a pathway because wolves walk in pack. They have a leader and the leader guides the um, guides the pack. So maybe if you have been feeling hopeless, I feel like there is a person coming, giving you messages, giving you inspiration, giving you motivation, being generous with you, and they are they are you know they are making your heart happy. They are making you feel that there are good people also, right? It's making your heart open. So that's that is also there with this to raise a rune. Okay, so let's see what else here. What is the unexpected blessing for my group number two? Community. Oh yes, look, community bees. Bees works uh, work together, right? So yes, there are certain people uh, who are coming. Uh, your way and being very generous with you and that's opening your heart you're like oh my god there are so many generous people like there are people around you who will be inspiring you motivating you sending you messages checking up on you so uh, yes yeah yeah and this gloominess that you have you're feeling it's going to shift that's what i'm getting here so uh, for some of you this can be your community expanding more people uh, want to know about you uh, yeah, if you have a platform or a community, I feel like there is expansion there. But again, this is about wolves. Wolves walk in pack and the leader cares for their pack, right? And I feel like there might be someone who really cares for you, uh, will check on you, uh, will help you in some way. Or maybe uh, they will make you a part of their community by offering you an opportunity, right? And you're going to work with like-minded people who will really, really inspire you, motivate you. Maybe there in this community you will find your tribe, find your friends. And that's the reason of you uh, coming out of that hopeless state to hopeful state here. So yeah, you're meeting good people. You're, you're getting good opportunities to work with our amazing people. And this opportunity will bring you, yeah, it will bring you more money, uh, more abundance here. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see what the tarot has for you guys look again you uh, we have the back of the deck energy as trust overcoming fear intentions having faith again uh, this gloominess is going to change as you meet these people as these people you know communicate with you inspire you your heart will be open your heart chakra is opening uh, yes you're meeting like-minded people so that's that's something i'm getting here this is the unexpected blessing so let's see what the messages from the tarot cards for group number two. Okay, you have seven of swords. Right now you cannot see this, that's for sure. You're a little bit, uh, yeah, yeah, for some of you, yeah, you're even... I even feel like sometimes you kind of not open the door as well when someone knocks. You kind of stay hidden i feel like you're getting out of it because yes again the heart is closed here but this person will come and give you a message something will come uh, come up and you will be you will be getting out of this hopelessness state that's for sure here you know sometimes you kind of self-sabotage also yeah for this group i feel like sometimes you kind of self-sabotage and this person will give you the information that will make you realize about your own mistakes and you will be able to come out of it okay
yeah look again prince of wands here yes definitely you're coming out of this space look at this too this is like a little bit dark and this is a little bit shiny and if you look at this card is also very little bit dark and this is little bit shiny from darkness to light you're coming out from darkness to light so there are definitely good people good opportunities and is been presented to you guys with this rabbit ha having a trumpet definitely there is some sort of awakening this can be an awakening that you will feel inside of you uh, yeah and that will shift something in you and um, yeah you will find certain opportunities that will help you to make more money and that will help you to meet like-minded people uh, for other people this is like someone coming and knocking on your door giving you some sort of information this can be an email message that will lift you up and it, it will make you uh, uh, understand something and uh, yeah and and that, yeah you will understand something and that's why you will be coming out of this seven of swords energy this hidden energy this self sabotage energy and you will be moving forward here so definitely a good news is coming your way and this good news is about like an opportunity uh, yeah that will take you from this hopelessness to hopefulness definitely uh, definitely good people are coming okay inspiring people <clears throat> good opportunities a good news that will bring a lot of passion in you that will like yeah make you like i should do this like sometimes we are like i don't want to do anything from that I, yeah i need to do this i want to go go ahead and do this <laughs> like that that's what the changes i want to work on this so there is a lot of fire coming in yeah coming from out of from if there it, right now it feels like the fire is shut down nothing you feel like from that too there is this passion rising this fire inside of you to get things done to do this to do that to have yeah having a goal something like that so let's see yeah wow look yes emperor definitely you will be feeling look again <clears throat> if you look at the emperor he is very grounded he is very stable and this is the energy once someone when they are not stable now they are not grounded they are feeling so much of uh, gloominess like they don't know what to do they isolate themselves they sometimes self sabotage they don't open their heart even when help is help comes right sometimes we are in that energy and that's changing for you guys because there is someone who is knocking on your door making your life better or maybe a video that you watch can lift you and you know any messages can come in any form here but something will shift you yeah this message or this opportunity will shift something in you and from this seven of swords to self you know self sabotaging yourself focusing on bad habits you're changing that and this fire in you is like lighting up and you're like i want to do this i want to focus on this goal i want to work on that and then you yeah and, and look with this emperor uh, energy you will feel stable so for some of you a very stable opportunity is coming your way and this can be a person also with this emperor this can be a person who has who is very structured who is very stable coming you and giving you some advice that is changing your uh, mindset from this gloomy energy to this hopeful energy and maybe are uh, you getting an opportunity to join a tribe to join a community to uh, you know uh, show your talent something like that so an opportunity is coming out of nowhere that will take you from this hopelessness energy okay so let's see the final message pumpkin patch <laughs> if you look at this she is like a little bit uh, uh sitting you know around the pumpkin she is a little bit um in her own world it feels like she is daydreaming right but she has this magic hat now she is not thinking about the things that she can't achieve now it feels like she is thinking about the things she can achieve she is like yes i am i am powerful i can make this happen <laughs> right that's what the energy shift is like i can get whatever i want i don't yeah from that's what this is like hopelessness to hopefulness that's the change here that's the blessing here so someone is around you yeah igniting something in you and you will be getting out of this seven of swords energy where you want to hide or you want to sabotage yourself or you know sometimes we do that we kind of hide we sabotage our own plans we don't believe in ourselves we don't have faith 
uh, or not believing in our talents. So even if it did no, any opportunity knocks, we don't open our heart. But that's changing. Here you are like visualizing something. It feels like she's dreaming a very different reality that will make her happy. So something has ignited in her. Now the way she is thinking is also changed. Like she's thinking big for herself. She's like, I want to make this happen. I want to get this happen. So as she's even resting, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's thinking about her future in a, in a better way, in a hopeful way. That's what I'm getting, okay? So this is like a shift that is happening inside of you. Your mind sh mindset is shifting. So from gloominess to like hopefulness, feeling like blossoming, something like that here, okay? So yeah, that's the message here uh, for group number two. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, group number three. So let's see unexpected blessings coming your way. So this is the image that you have been drawn to the Duchess, Duchess's cook. Okay. So let's see. You know, when I was uh, shuffling your card, I was hearing hair growth, uh, glowy skin. <laughs> so something like that is... Um, is what is the unexpected blessing that I was hearing. So maybe a major glow up is happening. Maybe you are uh, focusing on uh, changing your wardrobe and you're changing your style. Maybe you're trying to, you are thinking about growing your hair. If that is the case, there is this major glow up. I feel like that's something with hair. When this image also look at hair, so there's definitely hair growth. So if you're doing something uh, for your hair, if you have this hair care routine or skin care routine, it's going to work out in your favor. So maybe you have just started it and you're not expecting anything. You will be seeing major growth there. Like your skin is clearing, skin is glowing. Maybe maybe you just bought like one or two creams and that's what is that is helping your, your skin. Because it's not the cream that is helping. It's more about your mindset. The way you think about yourself is really, really uh yeah the king the cream might be helping but it's your mindset combined it's creating magic something like that uh so there is definitely a, a glow up i see that's what i'm getting here so maybe you uh, recently you might have changed something in your diet or maybe you have added uh, proteins to your diet i don't know maybe you have added some sort of uh, uh, exercise maybe you're very consistent with your exercise um maybe you have, you know you maybe you are someone who has exercised all the time but you were not this consistent because your mindset have shifted now and this mindset shift is like you will be very consistent every day and maybe you will not be having those in intense exercises but every day you will show up again it can be with a goal of yours it can be with hair care as well uh, you it is not going to be an intense hair care routine Maybe in the past you might have done intense hair care routine and didn't work out. But now it's like your mindset have shifted. There is this balance I see. So it's the hair, you, yeah, you're coming every day, doing the hair care routine, like for five minutes. You're just doing what is done, just for five minutes. And you have a good mindset. You're showing up every day, like exercise also, like doing it like for 15 or 20 minutes or 30 minutes every day. Maybe some days it's one hour, some days it's 30 minutes, some days it's 15 minutes, some days it's just five minutes. But you're showing up every day and that's creating big magic in your life. So these small, small changes that you're making in every day, uh, yeah, in your life uh, now, uh, these small, small changes that you're doing, it's actually going to result in this huge glow up of yours. I see that. So in this card, the meaning is like when we use pepper uh, to a food, when without pepper, the food is going to be too bland and too much pepper can cause like uh, sneeziness, right? So too much or less is not good. We have to have that balance. And when it, the pepper is in balance, the Food will be amazing. And that's exactly what you're needing. That's what I was feeling. So not overdoing, not stressing too much about it. Rather just being consistent, showing up every day and doing your best. Again, eating healthy. Like every day you're doing it. Maybe some days you feel like chocolate, you eat it. But you don't beat yourself for that. Yeah, today I ate it. Maybe tomorrow I'll not. And yes, I haven't. Yeah, there, there is this consistency. I see that, that now you're able to do it. And that's the reason of this huge glow up so in in whatever areas where you were not finding that success you will be finding those success because of this balance you have now okay 
<clears throat> again this can go with cooking skills as well right maybe you were trying too hard but you were not able to get to that level of cooking right you were not able to make those kinds of delicious food now every day you are showing up every day you are cooking every day you are cooking <laughs> not only some days right every day you are cooking and you see that your cooking skills are like amazing now so like that here that's what the thing is like you will be seeing like small small steps led to this big thing <laughs> you didn't had to overdo any day every day you did it in balance and it worked out like magic again this can be with weight loss your body like every day doing uh, like dumbbells for like <laughs> like using dumbbells for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes but being consistent that's creating a lot of magic and it it feels like even though you are using dumbbells and you're trying to build muscle or something like that you're not focused on how you look then after 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 like 2 months or 3 months you just looked at your body and you're like oh my god my body looks amazing or maybe you will be getting a compliment from someone and that's when you will recognizing oh oh this worked <laughs> right like that's the energy here mm, very balanced energy and it's a very good energy to be in actually let's see Wow! Look again. The grapes, love. You're doing every everything with love, with devotion. That's what you're planting now. And once we start doing it, it's going to grow, and it's going to give us so much happiness. Sometimes, what we are, uh, you know, whenever we do something, or when we, whenever we achieve small things, we just go and post on social media or something like that. We want to show everyone this thing we achieved, that thing we achieved, even though we are doing it for some time. Like that, all you have let go of it. Now you're not doing. Now you're not doing this for other people. So again, you were trying to cook. Maybe you cook something and you post it, but now. if you're cooking you're cooking for yourself you're cooking because you want to cook you want to learn or you want to have healthy meals that's why you're not you're not talking about it you're not posting <laughs> and you're very secretive of all these things even if it's a hair care routine even if it's your exercise health whatever it is it's like you're keeping it to yourself and you're working on it you're not going you're not going sharing uh, tips for, uh, to everyone that's what i feel like you're doing at this time maybe before even you started something you used to share about it like i'm doing this kind of exercise i'm going to do this kind of challenge and now you're like no i'm not going to share it with anyone i'm just going to try it and you're doing it with it with love it with love that's what it is if you're cooking you're cooking with love you're not cooking because you want the best dish or you you're going to create something unique or delicious no you're cooking it with love you're pouring all the energy Uh, to love right and then then there is this amazing balance and that's the reason for this glow up here so whatever this can be a skill that you will see is you're going to be very good at it this can be your you know again your body um, looking very good your hair looking good your skin looking good uh, this can be anything but you are doing it with love you're devoting it like you're doing you're devoting it with love and you're healing something uh, yeah you're healing um some sort of things that was not healed as well in that process i feel like yeah and instead of you announcing it people will be telling you oh you look good your hair looks good <laughs> i feel like that's the change here so wow or again this can be with your work as well you you would you wanted recognition so you did too much but now you are like doing it ba- in balance you're going with the flow and people are acknowledging <laughs> yes so let's see what else is the blessing for the number 3 oh family oh wow we have the wolf spirit with family we have 51 number and it reduces to number 6 6 number is all about peace harmony right so again with this family uh you know i feel like for some of you you might have always felt like whatever you do is not good enough <laughs> maybe you're not getting that support of recognition from your family this time it's not the case 
<laughs> you will be recognized by your family you will be supported by your family you will be seen like yeah you can do it you can do it maybe in the in, in your childhood you were someone who 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 was being compared to or 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 always told that you're not that great you know you somehow somewhere even though your parents didn't say it somehow you felt like that that you're not good enough but that's changing now this time your family will be like oh my god you're doing amazing looking amazing wow what is the secret like they will be asking and they will be uh, appreciating you uh, for who you have become right that's what i'm getting it's not only the internal like external thing like your hair no this is about your skills about your talents how you are living your life how you're influencing people um, maybe about it's about your dishes that is so tasty yet healthy like some sort of appreciation from your family maybe that's meant for you you know appreci getting appreciation from your family has been something that's very important to you guys but no matter how hard you try right you didn't get it you didn't go got those words that's something you're getting that's unexpected yeah <laughs> that's something you're getting this time and it will be very unexpected and will make you very happy so let's see so a lot of peace and love and harmony in your family relationships also your relationships are thriving your love relationships are thriving in relationship there is a lot of balance and happiness okay so let's see uh, in your partnerships as well okay uh, so let's see what else oh wow success so will a ruin oh recognition success happiness for, for me so will ruin is this like the sun rune where it, you know sun shows everything clearly right we can see everything clearly so somehow somewhere you were you were lost you were hidden you were not um you were not seen now finally you're seen more and more people are seeing you more and more people are recognizing you more and more people are appreciating you for your hard work maybe in the past also you did the hard work but you didn't get recognized but now the changes with the mindset it's changed it's balance it's not it's you're not underdoing anything you're not overdoing you have balanced yourself very well for this group i see that you have really worked on your inner self you have worked with your shadow self and it's a very hard thing to do sometimes it's not easy to work with your shadow self right so you have been improving yourself you have been in this journey of improvement <laughs> and that's what the thing is now unexpectedly now you're not expecting anything in a way right it feels like you are in this uh, in this mantra like, like less expectation more satisfaction somewhere i read that like less expectation more satisfaction so maybe that is what you're feeling right and i don't want to expect anything i'm just going to do my best i'm going to show up every day even if it's for five minutes i'm showing up and as you do that, that's changing the game for you. You're being recognized, you're being acknowledged for your work, for your craft, for your talents, for your beauty, anything it can be. But you are seen. You're like the sun. No one can hide away from the sun's brightness. You are that here. So here, unexpected blessing is like uh, you will be getting a lot of... Uh, compliments expect that <laughs> even though you are not expecting that's something i'm getting here Ex unexpected compliments from the people you never expect you will get that is one thing that's that's what i'm getting okay so let's see there is success victory whatever you're doing there is victory as well <clears throat> if you feel like you have not been recognized enough for your talents or something like that you will be recognized for that so let's see what else here a group number three wow winning we got winning yes winning <laughs> yes the willow rune is also with that victory rune the success rune and yes you're winning and it is not an easy win here this this didn't this win is even though it's like now you're not expecting that much that's why it feels like um <laughs> you're getting this win out of nowhere this is you working really really hard on yourself you're doing that inner work you you're changing your mindset about so many things you're healing yourself you're letting go of that uh, childhood issues you're healing your childhood issues you're uh, making peace with your inner child that is what the result like now the result is showing up guys finally the results are showing up here with the succeeding victory and outcome so yes there is victory coming your way. <laughs> and again, look at that. Uh, 
I feel like with this a uh, hammer, whatever it is like she has, it's not hammer, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it feels like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the name of that. So anyway, she has that, right? So it's like she has put energy into the things. It didn't came by itself. She did the work. Again, a person who wants to get good at cooking, they have to show up every day. You did that. And finally, the results are showing up. Again, a person who has a lot of knowledge, uh, yeah, sometimes, even if it's like, a, you know, wisdom, in order to get the, that inner wisdom, inner knowledge, we have to connect with our own heart. We have to meditate every day. We have to show up every day, right? Even if it's meditation, we have to show up every day. Whatever it's like, we have to show up. And you did that. You have been doing it for very long. And finally, the results are showing up. Yes, so let's see. Yeah, we have these two birds, like this conflict, the inner conflict you had, you had make, you have made peace with it. You have changed your mindset. So let's see what else here. What is the blessing? Okay. Oh, high priestess. Oh my God. Very, you're very connected to your inner heart. You have been doing the shadow work here. That's for sure. Okay, two cards are on the floor. I will take that for you. And yes, of course, we have the tower and the sun. It feel, Look at the energy here. This is the light, right? This is the dark. Yeah, you're doing the work, you're showing up every day, but you haven't gotten that much appreciation. You haven't been recognized them uh, that much. Yeah, some people might have recognized your efforts, your work, but there are many people who haven't seen uh, how much effort you have put. You're a little bit in the hidden energy, like you're a little bit in the dark here with this high priestess, right? Um, and then, then this tower happens, right? <laughs> tower have yeah this something changes something uh, uh, uh yeah unexpectedly shift, uh, shifts we are talking about unexpected blessings and we have this tower yeah something shifts and look the sun from dark to sun so that you know it it feels like there might be an area in your life where no matter how hard you tried um uh, you were not be, you were not shining like the sun you were somehow somehow hidden even though you were uh, yeah, maybe for some of you, you are a creative and maybe you uh, you post cooking videos and you're showing up every day, you're posting and it's beautiful. The, the, uh, the videos are beautiful and the way you post is beautiful. The dishes are delicious, but somehow people, maybe your family is not recognizing your efforts or maybe the people, you know, you're, maybe if it's in social media, the, you know, the page is not gaining that kind of um, uh, attention. But, but you are showing up. No matter what, you are showing up. Even many people are not recognizing. Yes, some people might have recognized. You might have gotten a little bit of success. I'm not saying that. But, but, the, but the work that you're doing, for that work, you're not getting that much success. <laughs> right? I feel like you might have always felt like this. You're very skilled people. Yes, but then too, that much recognition is not there. And like, look, unexpected recognition here. That's what the message is. That is the blessing. So it feels like even though you're working really hard, showing up, and then one day you get up and your chan channel is like, like, uh, it's like, it's like many people, many people have attracted, uh, uh, been attracted to your channel and the, your view, viewers have grown, your subscribers have grown suddenly. And now you're not hidden anymore. You're like the sun being seen by everyone. Okay. Again, this can be with your looks as well. Like you were hidden no matter what you did, no one recognized you. And now suddenly everyone is recognizing you because the small, small efforts that you have put every day. And the work that you have done, it's bringing you so much of happiness. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's see. And again, you know, the reason, I would say the reason why you didn't get those kind of blessing uh, that you're getting now, is, uh, you know, right now you don't have that blessing. Like, you, I feel like for this group, you have a little bit of success. It's not that you're not, not seen. You're being seen by a little bit people. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that you haven't been seen. You have been... A little bit out, like little bit people have seen you, little bit people know you, have recognized you, but not many people, right? So here one thing that has changed in you is like 
you're not chasing that anymore you wanted that kind of level of success but now you're not chasing it that's one thing you have shifted and you have made peace with it right that's what you're not uh, you're not focused on the outcomes you're just focused on what you do how you do it and you're showing up every day that's the game changer so overnight success we can say uh, you know suddenly your channel is blown up blown up blown up or maybe someone has recognized you they have messaged you you're getting an opportunity that's like a win here yeah so maybe you're working for many years <laughs> and finally you've been recognized right so yeah that's what the message is let's see the final message uh, so um and this this has only happened because you have worked on yourself that's what one thing is and again you did that doesn't mean that you didn't have talent before your work was amazing before as well and the reason was because because uh, you were not balanced from inside that's why you didn't get this level of success okay so let's see the final message we have the cat whiskers oh wow cat whiskers cat energy <laughs> and again the high priestess and the cat like the hidden energy the cats like uh, you know cats are a little bit uh, sometimes they have they want peace so they kind of hide and you were also hidden <laughs> for a very long time and that's what i'm getting like now you are um, out shining that's what the change is here now and now even if you want to hide you cannot hide oh yeah that is also there okay now even if you want to hide you will not be hide you cannot hide okay yeah and that i really feel like your community is expanding growing a lot of recognition um people are there maybe for some of you um i feel like an opportunity a partnership is coming where you yeah where you will be yeah again this can be a collaboration you're getting like if you're a chef or something you're uh, you you are collaborating with someone who is very famous and that will bring you more success something like that is also there so now you cannot hide <laughs> that is also there okay so that's what your message is group number 3 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye group number 4 let's see what is the unexpected blessings coming your way so you have chosen this 18 number with painted roses let's see so when i was shuffling your reading what i was seeing uh, I, you know I, i saw an image of cord cutting like um, yeah the rope has been cut into two parts so something that you were addicted to you were obsessed about you're cutting cords with it so this can be a an obsession of yours right Uh, and it's no longer you're out of that it can be a habit of yours or it can be perfectionism as well or it can be uh, with a job like finally you're over it like you thought that you needed it to survive then you're like no i don't need this right the, it feels like something was taking power over you and now you have cut the cords from that thing that thing it can be a person as well it can be a place as well it can be any situation so that has taken up lot of energy from you you maybe the situation or person has been in your thoughts emotionally finally you're over it you have cut the cords that's what i'm getting here okay finally it's like in you're in the final stages and you will be like over this thing it was consuming you it was taking over you taking yeah it was taking your power away from you but no no not any more you have cut the goods from this thing so that's what the unexpected blessing is let's see more here <clears throat> group number 4 oh we have oh again this can be a home a person you know again we have the coin and then a bird is carrying leaves and this 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 crap talks about the cancer sign so safety some sort of safety you thought it's making you safe but you were attached to it for example i'll just give you an example uh, yeah at it, it, it's like you are in a home right you're getting the finan finances or you're getting the safety but you're not really happy there but you're connected you feel like if you move out of that place you will never be happy so you stay in 
but as you move out you see that there are so much to your world that you haven't seen you thought that this is safe but no the world outside is much better so something some place some situation some person was making you feel like this is the best and you were attached to it you gave your power to it then it feels like the unexpected blessing is here that you will be out of the situation and you will see oh the outside world is much better than the safe zone that i created for myself right so um, you know the example is like a prison like a prison and in that uh, it, like it's a story where uh, there was a prison and one person came and look at the prison that it was very bad condition so he provided beds then uh, this the second person came and provided good food and the third person provided all the necessary things uh, but the fourth person came and took those people out of the prison because even if it's safe it's secure like it's everything is there right if good food good but it's, at the end of the day it's prison right and now you're out of that prison that's what it is it can be the safe zone sometimes we have that safety zone but at the end of the day we are not growing in that safety zone we are not uh, becoming what we want we are just surviving there right we feel like it's safe it's good but really is it like it feels like you're cutting that cords from your safety zone you from your perfectionism because of your perfectionism maybe you're not trying new things you're cutting that cords so at that time you know when you will do that it might feel a little difficult but later it will lead to a lot of unexpected blessings because you will be able to see that you haven't seen it's like a bird in a cage all that all the bird knows is the cage but once yeah it, the door is open it hesitates to fly then then it comes out of the comfort zone then once they try to fly it might be a little difficult then they fly and they see the whole world and they are, and then they are like oh my god why i was stuck there for so long then they have the freedom to go anywhere they want it's beautiful and that's exactly what i'm getting here maybe because of money situation you're stuck to a job but then you get out of that situation you cut the cords and you see that there are multiple ways you can make money and you will be able to enjoy that as well maybe right now you're not enjoying so some sort of safe zone with the scrap the cancer energy is very much associated with the safe home right nurturing home and and it's and and, and with the flying pig very hesitant to come out of your comfort zone and i feel like you're getting you're cutting the cords with that and you're you're in the final stages you will be getting out of it and then you will see this happiness that is pouring uh, and we have the angels as well they are looking after you so so it it feel, really feels like a person getting out of this uh cage every everything was provided in the cage but it was a cage at the end of the day and the person didn't even realize that it was a cage and there is so much beauty outside and that's exactly i feel with you guys and you will be coming out and you will be like oh my god this is so much better than that this is so much better than that right that's what the unexpected blessing is here okay <clears throat> so let's see what else the group number 4 wow experiencing joy so it feels like <laughs> you're going to experience a joy that you haven't experienced before you're going to have connections that you haven't ex uh, experienced before you might even find jobs that you will enjoy you'll feel joyful when you're doing that you might have not experienced before connections people friendships or traveling whatever it, it is it's going to bring so much of joy and we have the number 22 as well and we have the angel feathers so yes you have been guided you have been protected by your spirit team that's also important here you're not alone in this you're not alone in this right so yes it feels like a small child who thought that walking is <laughs> and like walking is not that great he, he has to put effort right and then he has to try he will fall down but once he start walking ah he can see so many places right it's like he can see a new world and it brings so much of joy so much of happiness that's what i feel like here so you getting out of something 
you coming out of your shell you coming out of your uh, comfort zone it's giving you a lot of joy and you're seeing things that you haven't seen before and you will be looking back at the situation and you will be like oh my god why i was stuck to it there's so much beauty outside of it like that okay so let's see what else <clears throat> And Zeus rune, yes, your spirit team is with you. With this, uh, I feel like it's a crow. And we have this evil eye. You're protected. As you move out of your comfort zone, you are protected. You're being taken care. We have this angel feathers. And with this number 22, I really feel like that. And Anzus, Anzus is di divine, giving you a lot of signs, synchronicity. It's like you are being protected by the universe. You've been taken care by the universe. As you cut these coats, as you move to a different world, you will be protected. You will be taken care. The universe will, it, it feels like you will be co-creating with the universe. The universe will show you signs. The universe will show you the next steps. The universe, universe will give you the messages. The universe will protect you. You are not alone. And that's very important here. You are not alone in this. Okay. So, wow. So trust your intuition, trust your gut. So yeah, already you are getting out of this comfort zone. So as you move forward, step by step by step, you will have to go, right? At that time, trust your gut, trust your intuition, trust your feelings. If it feels good, go for it. Yeah, if it feels good, do it. Because that's the message from the universe. If it feels good, then it is for you, right? So yes, again, we have this I and I feel like you've been protected from the forces that is beyond your control protected from the situation that is beyond your control, you will be taken care of. Universe is taking care. Universe is like there behind you, seeing you. What are you doing? Giving you messages at the correct time. So listen to that um, nudge, that feeling always here. <clears throat> so let's see. For some of you, you are awakening to a gift of yours as well. So it's going to be step by step. Don't try to know everything about this thing. As you follow, as you take charge, as you just go, you will understand more and more and more. Okay, so don't know to know. Oh, yeah, don't get to know the whole picture. Right now, just go step by step. Because this is going to create a lot of joy in your life. You're seeing places that you have not seen. You're seeing connections that you have not seen. This is something new that you haven't seen because this is out of your comfort zone, right? But it's going to bring so much of joy, so much of happiness into your life here. And it, and it, it will also make you believe in yourself more. It feels like you're not bond, bounded by other people's emotions, how other people look at you. You're getting rid of that. Uh, wow, we have this winning. I feel like it came for another, another group as well. Yeah, it's the first step to success. I feel like that, right? Yes, getting out of your comfort zone, taking one step, one step, one step. Uh, not be, not being bounded by other people. Not being, uh, yeah, not being um, manipulated by other people, right? You are a person who can think for themselves, who knows what's best for them, what makes them happy, where they want to be, who they want to be with. It's like it's a choice that you have to make, not anyone else is making for you. Yeah, this was a comfortable place, but someone else was making that decision for you. And now you are out of it. You are the one who is in, in charge. You are the one who is making the decisions. You're doing something that feels good because you're very aligned with the universe. As you take that one step, one step, one step, it is only going to lead to victory, to happy outcomes, to joy, to pleasure, okay? So have confidence in yourself. So it, it is, yeah, I feel like in this process, you will be uh, gaining a lot of knowledge, wisdom, seeing a lot of places. You will be gaining a lot of confidence. You will be cultivating a lot of confidence. So yeah. So let's see the tarot, what the tarot has to add. <clears throat> for group number four. What is the unexpected blessings? Nine of wands, seven of wands, and seven of cups. Oh my God, look, we have the world. End of this chapter where you were stuck in a loop. Like again, it feels like the, the stubborn energy where you're not ready to come out of this circle, you're staying there, you're like stubborn there, I will be here, this is best for me. But this place only gave you confusion, conflict, 
but now you're ending that chapter and with this world card look you're you're like a turtle going with the flow seeing the places that you haven't seen so this chapter where you were stuck somewhere because of your stubbornness it can be yeah again it can be a safety zone that you were stuck in but it didn't it didn't gave you that growth that expansion but that's what you're leaving and now you are entering a world where you are as i told you are going to do something that you haven't done before you're going to eat something that you haven't eaten before it's all going to be different you will be in charge of your own life not anyone else you're not going to give that um yeah sometimes we give that emotional power to other people someone control us because of because the emotions we have not anymore because of it we kind of stuck we are we put ourselves in that comfort zone even though we are not happy even though we are not happy we are in this comfort right yeah sometimes it really feels like this comfort zone was not good for you <clears throat> but finally you are getting out of it you were really stubborn <laughs> yeah again again an analogy is like um, a boat right you are on a boat and there is little bit holes universe put holes because universe wanted you to get out of that boat but what you did is like you started repairing that boat then universe gave you bigger holes and then you again you started repairing that and what happened is last universe just drowned the boat so you had to get out of that boat and then when you looked away you know different direction there was another bo boat waiting and that was much better boat for you right maybe it had a lot of other fa facilities that this boat didn't have that's what it is right okay <clears throat> so let's see the final message here okay oh it came very fast uh, okay we have the yeah again it's about your happiness it's about your happiness right selki it's like removing the skin shedding the skin of that comfort yeah it feels it, it really feels like i'm getting in this image where a person uh, is is inside a home that's very beautiful home and then they have a key here and they are they have this key and it has a necklace they have worn that key and they have uh, they are just touching that key it feels like the home that they are in is very safe it's like <clears throat> uh, it's, everything is there but they are not growing there they are not happy there and then they have the key as well to get out of the gate but they are hesitating again the stubborn energy is so much and finally now you're removing the skin and you're getting out you're cutting the cords and you're choosing your own happiness as you choose your own happiness uh you are going to as i mentioned you're going to see something that you haven't seen before you're going to experience joy that you haven't never experienced in like your life before you're going to uh, see connections uh you, that yeah you will really feel this what is real safety is you will feel that only so it feels like you will be getting out of your comfort zone uh doing something different but it's going to really really make you so happy and joyful and as you make those changes one thing you got to understand is you are protected you are safe here okay so that's all i have for group number 4 hope it resonated hope it made it made sense i will see you soon bye bye number 5 let's see what is the unexpected blessing coming your way i heard good sleep for some of you if you haven't been sleeping well good sleep is on the way for you guys that's one of the unexpected blessing another thing is like with the smoking caterpillar this is the image that you have uh, that you have chosen right so with this uh, this this feels like a wise old man's advice that will change your life in the best way so some sort of good advice a uh, good information that will help you with something maybe for some of you good advice or information that will help you help you with your sleep or with help you with your work or something like that uh, so be open to advice here that is one thing because there is an unexpected advice that will lead to blessing okay so that is what i'm getting so let's see the charms here for group number 5 and expected blessings coming your way Oh wow look a person again this feels like a wise man who has a spectacle and they are giving you some sort of advice this can be an advice on love that will shift your perspective this can be advice uh, uh, about your gifts about your talents that will unlock something in you uh, maybe this is a person who sees things uh, 
far away they can see things they can see things very very clearly this is a this is someone uh, who who has bigger picture in their life they know a lot of things they have a lot of wisdom so that advice will unlock something in your life that will be like this huge blessing that will bring a lot of blessings into your life or good health whatever it is so some sort of advice guidance from a person who knows a lot of things uh, there uh, yeah they have this bigger view about life uh, so maybe 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 this person you will be having just casual, casual conversation but that conversation will click something in you will open something in you so that is the blessing here so uh, be open to receiving advice here this is this guidance is going to change your life in a beautiful way here that is an unexpected blessing group number five let's see more unexpected blessing for group number five yes oh my god look freedom here you know the eagle story i have mentioned that the eagle just fly above all the troubles right uh, they don't just get into this nitty picky uh, nitty small small things they don't they don't bother they just raise their frequency it feels like they just go high altitude not any other bird can survive that eagles does and with this freedom so some sort of advice you're getting it's freeing you fr uh, freeing you from something that has been troubling you that is the unexpected blessing this advice guidance from a person that will give you the freedom you know sometimes this can be our own thoughts and we don't know what to do with it though those thoughts that is troubling us maybe we are not able to sleep properly and this person will give you some sort of idea or some sort of uh, tips or it can be just uh, just a story that was this person will tell you that will open your eyes and you will be freed from this trouble you will end this trouble yes something will end with this advice something will click in you and you will be able to end that you will or maybe you will find the issue yes this is the problem that's why I'm not able to make, make this happen. And you will end that issue and things will move forward. So yeah, a very good advice, very good guidance. That doesn't come always, you know, you're getting that, that kind of advice that is going to change your life for the best here. Well, yeah, some sort of problems is going to end because we have the 13 number and 13 for me is the death card. Uh, yeah, number. So yeah, something is ending and you know, you've been freed from something because of this advice. Because this person knows so much and they are just giving you some tips or something like that and it is actually resolving your problem. <clears throat> so be open to advice because there is some good advice coming your way. So let's see what is it. And it's we are talking about unexpected blessings, so it's a blessing, right? It is definitely is going to help you with something. It's definitely going to make you... Uh, end something and yeah you're freed from that thing you're going to yeah for some of you this can be like going high from away from something that has been troubling you yeah so let's see okay i'll just keep uh, it's on the floor let me take it we have manha's rune oh manha's is like yeah it feels like a tapping into the super conscious yeah we are you our universe is uh, mental isn't it and it feels like a super conscious is there and from that we can get all the information <laughs> that's what it feels like we are all connected in a way so here i feel like this person has tapped into the super conscious and they are giving you some sort of advice that is very good for you it's like a specific advice you're getting and you're uh, and uh, you're getting that advice and you're following that advice and that's bringing a lot of happiness joy fulfillment to you it feels like that yeah someone is really helping you here giving you some sort of advice maybe you will uh, yeah it feels like this person this person is someone who can really understand a lot of things they have deep understanding regarding things it feels like they're tapped tapped on like they are very connected with the universe and they can get information at any time they want like something like that with this manha's room Maybe, yeah, maybe you're getting advice from a healer or something like that. But they're going to give you some sort of specific advice that will really benefit you. That's what I'm getting here. This will lead to uh, more happiness. If you had sleep issues, this person is giving you specific advice. This is, this is only, maybe this advice will work only for you. And it's working. 
and you're free from that sleep loss. You, you know, uh, now your sleep is good, right? And you're feeling good. And when we have better sleep, our days goes well, right? And that's what I'm getting here. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. Maybe it can be uh, like this, uuh, this person will point out a specific habit of yours that is causing this problem. I, this can be a doctor also who is going, giving you that great advice and you are following it and it's, it's changing your life for the best, right? Yeah. So they are giving you that specific solution that will work for you. I'm getting that. Yeah, let's see. Again, this can be a person who is a, a financial advisor telling you where you can invest and grow your money, something like that. And uh, yes, and it will really help you, it will really benefit you. So, repose. We have pause, uh, respite, time out. Yeah. So, yeah, again, it feels like. This person is not resting here. They're not troubled. They're not troubled. <laughs> They're like just connected. Again, for some of you, um, again, manhas, we are all connected actually, right? Whenever, so sometimes when we ask for certain solutions from divine, certain solutions comes from different people, right? So when you get these solutions, as, as I mentioned, like you might be getting different solution. Maybe you might be getting uh, guidance from different, different people. So repose, recenter, and ask yourself, which guidance is best for me? If, the, if you're getting more than one, just, I feel like, just ask yourself. And you will know exactly what is good for you and try it out. It will free you from something that is troubling you. That's what I'm getting here. So whenever you get a guidance or information, some sort of, yeah, um, advice, I first ask yourself, is it worth it, right? Is it good for me? Uh, and you know, once you are calm, you will know exactly what you need to do. So meditation, uh, you look, look, she's in nature. She's just not thinking anything. She just have this in mind, should I do this? And she will know by the end, right after some time, she will know whether she needs to do it or not. You will get that answer. Because you are also connected to the superconscious. You can also take information from the superconscious, right? It feels like the, uh, the Akashic records. This, If you want, we can get information, right? And yes, for, for, for you guys, you're, you're, you're getting information, good information that will really benefit you with your sleep issues or with your health issues or with your finances, whatever it is. But uh, maybe more than one advice you might be getting and you don't know which advice you should take. In that case, ask yourself. And you will know which is the right one. You will feel aligned with that. Maybe you will feel very connected to that person who said that. You will feel like this is the thing I need to do. You will feel it. You will feel very good. So trust that feeling and do it. And that's when the magic happens, right? So let's see what else. So book number five. Again, it feels the unicorn is guiding this eagle. Like, go this way and you will be free. <laughs> Again, this someone is guiding you something. And trust. Tr and you will know that, yes, you will feel aligned with this person. And you will be like, yeah, I think I should trust this person, right? And yeah, that's what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see, what is the first? Wow, four of wands. Yes, this is going to bring stability. Maybe st it's like a four of, four of wands. It's like stability within yourself. Maybe stability in home. Certain issues that you're facing in your home. They're giving you a solution and you try it. It works out. It provides celebrate, celeb what? <laughs> Sorry. St stability in your relationship. St uh, stability in your uh, work. Stability in money. Stability in health. It can be anything, right? St uh, feeling like, um, like four pillars are strong. Strong. And it's not going to fall apart, right? Some some sort of issues that you're dealing with at this time, you're getting information, you're getting the deep uh, knowingness, like you're getting some sort of awareness that will really benefit you and give you stability, right? Again, it can be with mental health as well. And you're yeah, you're getting some information, and you work on that information. You give that 
you know, you've got to do the work, yeah? Just getting an advice is not the thing. Once we get the advice, we need to work on it. And once we start working on it, you see that you're, you're feeling great, maybe your energy levels are good, something like that. So let's see. What else? <clears throat> yeah, we have five of cups. That's what is changing here for you guys. So there has been an area where you have been feeling lack, you have been feeling disappointed, no matter what you do, nothing works out. In that area, you're getting an advice that is bringing stability. Okay, so that's what the message is here. Okay. Oh, for some of you, this can be related to your work, to, with your passion, with your studies. And we have this Knight of Wands in Judgment. Uh, again, it feels like it, it feels like you're talking. It can be like this, you know, you're talk, you're having a conversation with someone, right? And uh, and and this person might say something. It will be like a seed planted to you. It, it will be like an awakening. Like yes, I can do this. I can work on it. And you are taking right right away. You're taking action on this thing. And that's the reason for that stability here. Yes. So the unexpected blessing is you getting good advice, right? You're getting good information. You're getting the correct information at the correct time that is opening something in you. It feels like, yes, whenever you will get this information, you will feel that like, yeah, I should do it. You will not be able to let go of that conversation. You will not be able to let go of that advice. And you will feel like, yes, I need to work on it. It can be if you're a student, right? You're getting some sort of information uh, from a teacher and they're just giving you some sort of like, you can do this, this way, you do this at this time. And something is like awakening in you and you're like yes I should do that and you are just yeah it feels like you will be right away working on it with this eight of uh, eight of pentacles and knight of wands and and that will bring a lot of stability here it feels like an awakening here okay some uh, this person is going to awaken something in you yeah they will make you realize something about yourself it can be yeah that will, or maybe some sort of habits of yours that is not in alignment and you will be able to let go of that habit and work on it and, and that's the reason where you will be, you will be out of this uh, five of cups energy because we have the butterflies as well. So yes, you will be charging ahead. So and unexpected, your ex unexpected blessing is an advice that will change your life for the best. Okay, so let's see the final message. It's in, a, in an area where you're finding answers that you have been disappointed. So let's see the final message here for group number five. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it's on the floor. Patience is required though as you work on this thing, the results might not come very fast. You will have to have patience. So don't be like, oh, I tried it for one day or two days, it didn't work. No, no, no. Like this Knight of Wands, yes, the Knight of Wands is very fast, right? It, 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 it like it's wherever you get it, it gets an idea. The passion, like the fire, is there, but the fire, fire shuts down also very quickly. So that's one thing you've got to remember it. You've got to try. You have to be patient. Okay, so that's something I will recommend here for you. Okay, so let's see the final message. We have the little owl. Yes, again, little owl is the confirmation. I had. I have to cover this. Okay, I'll just, um, okay, I'll just use this one, that's better. Okay, so with this little owl, again, this is a confirmation. Because owl, they hold a lot of wisdom, they are very intuitive, right? And this, this is the confirmation of this teacher or this master, uh, this person who is giving you good advice. And uh, yeah, and I even feel like because this woman is naked, you will feel that kind of energy because this person will be able to read you. It feels like this person knows all your secret. It will be like that kind of conversation. Or maybe you will open up to this person. It, feel, it will feel like you're being very vulnerable, but that's okay. That's for your own good. So this is what the blessing is for you guys. Group number five. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.
Number six, unexpected blessings coming your way. So let's see what is the message here for my group number six. This is the image that you have been drawn to with number three, a little door to a new land. Of course, yes, doors are opening for you guys. A new garden is, uh, yeah, a new garden is there for you guys. New horizons, new opportunities. And if you look at this rapid is running, so definitely new ho opportunities for some of you travel opportunities as well an unexpected travel opportunity an expect unexpected encounter with someone who will give you an opportunity it can be new love as well um, it can be a new friendships but some sort of new places you're going here okay and like this uh, you know this um, I don't know why I'm very attracted to this running rabbit so this is coming in very fast so but you will have to be authentic with yourself don't let fear in coming come in between between. that is also very important with this opportunity okay so new love new partnership collaboration yeah uh, maybe an event as well an event unexpectedly comes maybe you wanted to go to that event and finally you get uh, get an offer to go to that event so yeah that also is there maybe some of you will be able to go to con concert concert yeah that is also something i'm getting here so a new place I mean, travel opportunities also there here so let's see what else <clears throat> A new door is opening for you guys. Wow. Oh my God. You're protected. You're safe. But your fear will come in between. So with this grapes, it's like going out, having fun, uh, seeing new places. But at the same time with this knife, you will have to uh, cut that fear as well. Maybe you're not ready to get out of your comfort zone or you're not ready to go to new places that you haven't seen. Or maybe you are getting an opportunity to relocate somewhere. Maybe your company wants you to go somewhere else and work. But sometimes your head will come in between. Sometimes your fear will come in between. Sometimes you will feel like, will I be protected or not? Feeling unsafe. And that can uh, take you away from this good opportunity. But it is a blessing in disguise here. Don't let this fear stop you. So take this opportunity here, okay? So because that's going to bring you a lot of abundance with this grape, but you will have to work with your fears here and be very authentic. You know, it feels like sometimes this opportunity might feel too good to be true and you might start doubting it. And uh, when once we start doubting it, once we are in fear, we might get rid of this beautiful opportunity as well. So don't let that happen here. Okay. It's very important to cut the fear. <clears throat> because this will lead to expansion growth only with this number three for some of you this can be a new idea as well you're getting out of nowhere and that's that's going to bring you a lot of great rewards but at the same time this is something new that you want to do and again you might be like is it protected is it safe will people love it will this work out so you might be might be someone who overthinks and cut that idea don't do that okay so that's one of your advice here because this is a beautiful opportunity so let's see healing oh wow so it feels like again uh, with this bear you're very safe you're very protected it feels like you're going to the lands that is very new to you right <laughs> uh, yeah there will be a lot of doubt whether this is going to be secure or not will i level up or not will i just get lost in that new land or not this new opportunity is it even good for me so these are all the thoughts that will kind of pull you back <laughs> but here with this healing card this is going to be amazing guys this is like if you were always staying in summer places now you're going to get going an opportunity to be in a cold place right where there is a lot of snow and so sometimes there will be doubt whether i will adapt to that climate or not will that place you know food will i like it a lot of confusion will be there a lot of thoughts worries when this opportunity will come it will feel like that um, but with this bear I'm getting like uh, you will be safe you will be protected there is like this protector vibe I'm getting from this bear and we have this number three and then number four it feels like you will level up only you're not going to go down any anyway okay so yes this can be about like new horizons that you have to go the places that you haven't seen it's a very good opportunity you will love this opportunity but at the same time there is a lot of hesitation I feel here uh, from your part that's what you will need to conquer and that's yeah that's what you will have to conquer guys that's what your spirit team is telling you and uh, and through meditation <clears throat> you can you know meditation going out in nature uh that will be very beneficial so whenever you're having those thoughts 
uh, do that because I feel like a very good opportunity is going to be land landed on your feet. Uh, maybe it's a love opportunity as well, but there might be a lot of doubts. But take it slow. Go go step by step. Don't try to know everything. And once you're trying to know everything, you will be in that fearful state. So that's something you need to work on with this. Yeah, it's like new horizons. It's always difficult for us humans to have change. Even though we want change, sometimes we um, we are very afraid of change, right? So yeah, I feel like you you will try to you you will try to put yourself in a place where you feel safe because when you're going to new horizons, you don't know where you're going. Even if it's people, even if it's love, you don't know. So it's, sometimes it's very very hard. Uh, to trust but here uh, spirit is telling you to trust and uh, go out and have fun and yes try new things try this new opportunity because it's going to take you to a different garden that you haven't so what is stopping you uh, to going to this new garden is it your fear is it this worry what it is uh, you got to let go of that okay so let's see what else here <clears throat> Yeah. Oh my God! Look, we have the wolf and wolf. Uh, I got this message, this card for somewhere, some other group as well. And wolf goes, uh, walks in pack. Again, you will not be alone here. Even though you might be going alone, even this opportunity will feel like that, like I'm alone. But no, there will be people who will help you along the way. There will be your spirit team will be there again with this bear also. You're not going to be alone here. And this will be really healing for you guys. You will be healing uh, something about yourself as well as you, as you. You know, move out of your comfort zone, a different opportunity is coming, you're taking a different role and you know, you will be understanding why you were not able to step into that role and as you get into this role, you will be healing the past. I feel like that. This is going to be so amazing for you guys, this opportunity. But I feel a very big hesitation from your part. That is what you need to work on, guys, okay? Uh, so let's see. Um, what else for group number six? Secrets. Oh, okay, okay. We have secret and she's sharing the secret to the fox. Whisper, confidence is sharing. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Maybe this is spirit telling you when you get this opportunity, keep it to yourself. And when everything works out, then only say uh, to people around you okay so yeah maybe you're getting an unexpected opportunity and it's a very good opportunity it's an exciting opportunity and you share it with the people everyone and maybe there will be people who will come and tell you that it's not that great it will be tr trouble it will be very bad and it will scare you and some you already have that kind of fearful feeling or maybe if, yeah you ha you will already have that and once you start sharing this information with other people what will happen is uh, you will feel less 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 confident so it's very important uh, for you to share this with only the people who you trust who will give you good advice who really wants your best just share with those people that's very important here and if you don't have anyone like that, I feel like it's better to keep uh, keep it a secret. And when once everything is finished, like if you're traveling, when everything is done, then only share it with them. When once you have made your mind, like I'm going to go go and do it anyway. After that, only share. Otherwise, people will give their opinion, and it will it will make you feel like should I do it or should I should I take this opportunity? Should I not take this opportunity? You know, you will go back and forth and i feel like your spirit team doesn't need doesn't want that for you so keep it a secret here okay uh, so let's see <clears throat> yes uh, again she is sharing it with the fox so if there is a person in your life who you who is very clever who you can really trust on rely on with this uh, with their advice only share it with them Okay, so let's see. We have, yeah, there is a lot of confusion. There is a lot of uh, not feeling clear, right? But your spirit team will be giving you answers. Once you start listening to your spirit team, once you start seeing the signs, you will know exactly like this is a very good opportunity for you that will take you far ahead in your life. For your future also, this will be best. 
uh, but you will have to take it a little bit light-hearted way you don't have to get like very much into it like sometimes when we get too much into a certain things when we want to know everything it can create a lot of confusion and there is no clarity at that time and that can that can make us feel like should i should i go for it should i not go for it is, is it better to have this only you know should i make the move a lot of doubt will be there in order to avoid that doubt you got to just take it step by step and one once one one step then next step so uh, so listen i feel like universe is always giving you messages you will feel good whenever this opportunity lands when when you will get this opportunity you will be very happy if this is a new person you are meeting you will be like very feeling very good about it but later uh, you might start thinking your when your thoughts come you might get very confused so so for that you have to and like connect with yourself meditate go out in nature spend some alone time then you will be able to listen listen to your yeah you will be able to listen to your spirit team and they will share they will share that yes it's okay to move ahead it's okay to go ahead right so let's see what else here yeah there is like this is the conflict that you will be facing when you will get this opportunity or something like that you will not know what to do so that's why you will have to spend some alone time before making a decision yeah there is a lot of thoughts that will come like volcano vol you know like the volcano you will be like bursting with a lot of thoughts should i do that should i do that will it help will it not help oh, can i stay alone like lot of thoughts lot of thoughts a lot of chaos and conflict you will feel and that will create a lot of confusion so for that you will really really have to isolate yourself spend some time connect with yourself and and then you will know exactly what you need to do because you will feel good you will feel peaceful yes i can i can move on with this thing new thing so there there will be a little bit of chaos feeling i feel like when you get this opportunity out of nowhere um yeah let's see more what else here <laughs> we have the emperor yeah i feel like look we have the three of swords again we are talking about blessings so three of swords you know i feel like in the past you might have um, gone through a lot you have gone through a lot of pain in your past and what happens is when we get those opportunities the chaos is because of the past because of the past you might be thinking what if the you know what if the same thing happens again so that's why there's a lot of back and forth energy i feel like so again if it's like a new love maybe you were in, in the past relationship it was toxic and getting into a new relationship is is chaos conflict it's creating a lot of chaos and conflict here even though it's a good one you will not be ready here so yeah you need to work with your fears here really you need to work with your fears here take your time out connect with yourself and then you will know exactly with the emperor what is best for you because your heart will guide you correctly and listen to it yeah i feel like the past is coming the past pain will be coming you will become you will think about your past a lot when this opportunity comes up because maybe there was a past event where you failed or something like that and it will feel like you know maybe in this past this thing might have taken away your power and maybe now also you're dou doubting whether this th thing this opportunity is too good to be true or whether it will take my power away from me so there is a lot of trouble even though this is an amazing opportunity maybe this is the opportunity that you have been waiting for but because of your past issues because of the past pain i feel like you because of your own thinking Uh, yeah it will be a lot of trouble that's why spirit team is telling you to go out have fun and uh, connect with your inner self and once you're peaceful like once you're not thinking from your past or once you're not thinking too much overthinking and all whatever it is like that's when you will be able to understand what you really want right is it best you will know it you will know it exactly if it's best or not so spend some time by yourself that's very important because i feel like when you will get this get this opportunity you will not be open to it okay this is this is like an expected one unexpected opportunity out of nowhere and you will be like too good to be true past you you you, you will be you know you will be thinking about your past trying to connect past scenarios lot of fear and there's this knife i can see that you will have to cut through those fears then only you will be able to 
take this thing. So you will have to con connect with your heart. And if you look at this beer spirit and this um, girl eyes, she's in eyes. She's uh, yeah, she's outside, so alone. But the spirit team is looking after her, right? So it's very important to connect with yourself. Go outside, take break. As, uh, you know, for some of you, you will have to be in this hermit energy before making this decision. And one, once you yeah, once you take that time out and you connect with your heart, you will know, you will be like this emperor, you will know, yes, this is my decision, and I'm going to do it. You will make the best decision. So you will have to trust yourself, okay? So let's see the final message. <clears throat> Shield maiden. Ah, again, it's, uh, again, finally, you will be in your power. You will be the emperor. You Look again, if you look at, she's like, ah, she knows how to protect herself. She's like, yes. Yes, I know. Even if this is a new opportunity, uh, this is, uh, yeah, may, yeah. all those fears you will be feeling, but you will conquer that fear and you will be in this emperor position and you will, I feel like you will take this opportunity. <laughs> yeah, first you will hesitate, real, you will hesitate, you will feel all that feelings. You might even have feel pain because of the past thinking and all, overthinking I see, but you will be able to come back and you will understand like yeah yeah i can protect myself like again with this protect this charm i i can protect myself i can face this i will overcome this challenge i will make it happen like i will go and grab this opportunity you will come into terms with that i feel like that okay so yeah that's the message i received for uh, group number 6 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye take care